new products. Um, really fast, we have many amazing sizes of Raspberry Pi t-shirts in, in black. Adafruit Black. Adafruit Black. They're Maybe in the store. I'll... They're here. I can just show this. Show one real quick. It's a t-shirt. It's sure. in a nice bag. Yeah, official. And um, proceeds it's official. go to the um, Raspberry Pi Foundation. Yeah, this is a, a really nice t-shirt. This is the ladies t-shirt. Black medium. It's got this nice printing on it. It's black. This is sealed for your protection. Yep. And uh, we have all sizes. Okay. Next up. We Only native for black, though. We also have a ton of Raspberry Pis in stock, by the way. We're doing fantastic with the pie supply right now, so 10% um, off tonight is a good deal. Pie supply is good. Next up. Um, conductive. I'm going to try to. Yeah, there you go. That's a good one. Yeah. But actually, that photo is really good. So, this is a conductive um, core ribbon. It's a uh, woven uh, nylon ribbon, not like polyester nylon ribbon. That's, you know, it's a nice fabric ribbon, and I can show it on the overhead. It's just, a, you know, your everyday kind of uh, binding ribbon. And um, super flexible. And this one's kind of like we, uh, it's got this thread. It normally doesn't have the thread coming off of it, but um, we kind of were uh, taking apart this ribbon Great. a little bit. There's four silver conductive threads coming out um, of the top. They're kind of thick and um, it makes it extremely flexible, but there's, you know, these four conductors. So this is really good for when you want to have like um, a data or power bus or something and you want to use it in your wearable project or even in a non-wearable project. And we have this in white, but now we have it in black for those of you who uh, like it in for black. Okay. Uh, we have this neat little pocket tool. This is kind of cool. These, uh, everybody loves these and when I, um Saw them. I looked at all the reviews. They were on Cool Tools, and uh, we said, "Gosh, we got to get these in because um, everybody there's a fan following of these. So they're really um, sturdy, really elegant. Let me show it over the overhead. It has all sorts of tools in it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's this metal uh, pocket tool. It comes with a protective sheath as well. It's like plasticky. Actually, I thought it was a leather, but it's actually a yeah, plastic color. And then um, plastic cover. And then there's a little guide saying like, "What is all these things?" Because there's like 12 oh, different mm -hmm. things. There's a ruler, there's a knife, there's a can opener, uh, there's a bottle opener, um, there's a uh, flathead screwdriver, there's a couple different hex wrenches, um, there's a, um, a guide. Uh, this, I don't know, it's an, I think it's more um, hex wrenches. This is a keychain thing. This, what is, what the heck is a slidey thing? Seven. Butterfly wrench. I don't know what that is. Um, for butterflies. For wrenching your butterflies. Yeah. Um, a saw. <laughs> So it's it's a pretty handy all-in-one tool, and it's made out of very thick stainless steel too. Yeah. It's surprisingly thick. Made in so this the UK, is, I believe, and then also uh, super sturdy. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure it's made in the UK, but it's a British design. Yeah. Um, but it's quite well made, and yeah, it's nicely stained steel, and uh, it's it's sharp as hell. So please watch out when you use yeah. this. Okay, moving right along. I like this product. I gotta say, I like it. I like it. Like it. Like it. Yeah, this I don't have a, an overhead demo for it. It's the in our LED See? matrix backpacks. We have really nice seven segment and matrix backpacks. Uh, a lot of people are like, hey, I have my own matrix, so I want to make a matrix of LEDs. So this is a multiplex uh, LED driver. It can drive 16 by 8 LEDs um, in a matrix. So you'd have like a, um, you know, a grid of LEDs and can turn them on and off. It's really good for 8 by 8 matrices or 16 by 8 yeah. matrices, seven segment displays, anything where you want to just turn segments on and off and you don't mind that they're multiplexed or they're Probably wired in multiplex. Yeah. yeah, so a lot of like seven segment or um, eight by eight matrices are multiplexed. So to use them, you have to have a special driver that handles multiplexed displays. Yeah. This driver does it. I don't have a demo for it, but uh, check out any of our backpacks. That's basically what it does. This one is just a very yeah. red one friendly. Next up, um, so we have a coloring book. So we're always on the lookout for kind of the coolest way for kids to color and for it to be more than just boring, kind of crummy markers. So this um, company makes these beautiful, uh, well-designed markers that fit on top of each other that are um, rainbows. Yeah. And we're going to use this for another project coming up, a, um, a wearable color piano glove. Um, it, it's mm -hmm. going to happen. You're going to see it. It's going to be mm -hmm. cool. But um, yeah, these are the, these are the um, cool markers that we got, and they're yeah. really neat. Yeah, they kind of they fit, and they fit on your desk very nicely, and then um, they're highlighters, but they're also like markers. Yeah. Highlighters are basically markers that are just not okay. as dark. And you can uh, you can like do all sorts of weird stuff with them. All right, moving right along. We're on a tight schedule here. This is the 
16 channel P. Uh, sorry, 24 channel PWM driver. Whoa. This is a 24 channel 12 bit PWM driver. Um, I this is with 16. And this isn't it for with yeah. This isn't necessarily for matrices, but it is for when you want to control a lot of LEDs uh, individually. What I actually uh, used it for originally. This is a the demo one. Is um, I was using it to control um, this seven segment. Uh, yeah. Uh, green. You can turn off the light for a second too if you want. Yeah, maybe I'll. Uh, no, there, nope, nope. There is a switch over oh, there. Switch. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't think that really helped. It helped. That. It helped briefly until the camera. Adjusted. Yeah, it's oh. like self-adjusting. But um, you can sort of see the reflection. So it controls each one of these segments um, individually, which is really handy um, because this is not a multiplex display. It's actually a uh, 21 LED like all in a row. So this has uh, 24 channels of PWM output at 12 bits. We have a driver for it. They're chainable, uses, it's, like, um, it's made for like really big LED chains. So um, really handy if you want to drive a lot of LEDs. Yeah. Let me put a piece of paper over it real quick. Oh, yeah. see mm. oh, too, too much, much paper. Yeah, too much paper. There yeah, you go. There you go. Okay. So there you go. We're gonna Colorful. Move fast. Okay, these are the stars of the show. I saved the two best for last. Alright. Sticks. The Neo Pixel stick is here. Stick. Pixel sticks. It's a stick. It's got eight Neo Pixels on it. They are as close as possible uh, to each other, which we really liked, so that they're even closer to each other than the uh, flex strip. The flex strip actually has to have some distance between them. This is, I think I calculated, it's like 150 LEDs per meter if you were crazy enough to want to have a full meter of them. That's a lot of LEDs. Um, so each one has eight LEDs, and then on the back there's these surface mount pads that you can solder to. So for example, I just soldered some header to it. Or you can put them uh, together and sort of join them. You can join as many as you want, as long as you can provide power. There's uh, two ground pins, data, um, data that gets chained through, and then power five volts or four to, four to seven is, is probably fine. And then you can, whoa. You can, hold on, this is, there you go. You can stick it in, and it is glowing. Yeah. Maybe I'll use that paper trick again. Mm. It's hard to convey. There you go. Saturation. Yeah. Yeah. Super bright. Yeah. So they're really, really, really bright. And um, there's mounting holes, which are really handy. Okay. Next up. You can connect it up. Make something extremely bright. Maybe a person's division stick or something. Maybe before. Yeah. Next cool. up. And this is gonna blow your mind, folks. Tell the kids to come in. First time ever, live on Ask an Engineer, the NeoPixel Shield. This yes. is the thing that we've been talking about. It is right. This was the code. All right, let's blow up this web camera. Here now I'm gonna protect it with this yeah, thing. Yeah, so here is the NeoPixel Shield. Yeah. So it's, um, yeah, he doesn't like it. Um, so it's uh, a five by eight matrix of uh, those NeoPixel LEDs. So you only need you one. Take the paper off. Let's just see what happens. Right. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Well, you can, yeah, it's not, it's not too bad. Um, so it's just really, really bright. Uh, each one is individually con addressable. It has one pin for on top of Arduino quite nicely. Um, we give you some stacking headers, but I like the plain headers as well. And then you can stack more next to each other um, by connecting this data out pin, which you can barely see because it's so bright, to the data in pin up here. So you can chain them and have like a huge row. Um, and yeah, we basically packed as many as we could onto a shield uh, while also sort of maintaining the squareness. I like that it's a, a perfect matrix, like square wise. Um, you can use the internal regulator, but it gets hot as heck. Uh, if you really want to drive a lot of these, I suggest using the external power. There's an external power connection here. Um, and we use, include a terminal block and uh, like four AA batteries work really well. Yeah. Instead of using Arduino power. Yeah, you can, but it's like for the demo, because I don't have all the LEDs. The LEDs, there's only one third of them on at a time. Right. So it's uh -huh. like barely within the limit of the fuse. Um, well. Yeah, play it safe. There you go. For external. Um, for external, it's OK. Uh, USB ports, eh, kind of barely. But um, yeah, I would suggest if you, if you want to do stuff, I would uh, power it externally. Yeah. But you know, cut the trace and, and do what you want. Super blinky. So yeah, we have a lot of NeoPixel stuff. Yeah, and just to show this, these photos, um, yeah, absolutely incredible. It's really hard to take photos of stuff with LEDs, so this is pretty incredible mm -hmm. to get the um, background and image at the same time. It's really harder than it looks. Yeah, it really seems, hard. 
what your eye sees is incredible color saturation. It just sees it. It just comes up as white on the camera. Yeah, usually. most cameras aren't aren't really good at this. But um, John Janier spent hours and really tweaked the hell out of these pixels to make them look this good. Yeah. That's why they look so good. Okay, and that was new products data. Excellent yes. work.